So today we will speak about peer practicing because peer practicing is something very essential in order to get you to a level where you can confidently um, go to your interviews and perform outstandingly there. But there are a couple of requirements to make sure this is a systematic improvement. And the first thing is make sure that you and your peers have the same fundamental understanding of what you're doing. Because if you don't have the same fundamental understanding, it's literally impossible to get very helpful and systematic feedback from your peers because you will evaluate um, the respective other person you are practicing with uh, with like a different scale, like with different things you are focusing on with a different things you're emphasizing uh, on and also most likely with a completely different uh, set of uh, knowledge that you have gathered throughout the last years. And so that, mean, that means if you don't have a common starting point, it will, it will be just very hard for you um, to, to, to steer the other person systematically and to get steered systematically by the other person. It's often leading to a situation where it's kind of the blind leading the blind. We have no idea if this is actually helpful or not what you are um, getting told by the other person. So if you do not have common ground then that you can start from, it's, it's just very hard to get um, yeah, purposeful feedback from your peers. And then the second point is, I mean, I'm seeing this so often, um, people uh, posting online somewhere, I have done 50 cases, I have done 70 cases, I have done 100 cases. Um, the, 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 best, the best example is I have done, I, I, I've seen, I've done 150 cases and have been um, uh, rejected now twice by McKinsey, right? Um, but I'm, I'm only looking for expert, expert candidates. I mean, find the mistake, right? <laughs> So is it really a good proxy to believe that uh, you should practice with a lot of uh, people with uh, having done a lot of cases? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe uh, this can be the people that are actually have not gotten it even after 100 cases and they will not get it after 200 cases because they are doing more of the same. And if the same hasn't worked last year, and the year before, maybe not so smart to try the third time. So think about this, right? So it's definitely not a good proxy on how many cases somebody has done in the past. So really make sure to have a pre-discussion with the people that you want to practice with and see if it at all does make sense, right? That's the second point. And then third point, um, make sure to frame the other person at the beginning that there is a clear objective and a clear um, yeah, task the other person has to perform, meaning um, you're asking for specific feedback for a specific area that the person should emphasize upon in, in, their, um, in their cases. And the truth is here, and this is something that might be interesting to know for you. So yes, I mean, interviewers have only a certain um, set of cases that they are giving, but they are completely open and also free how they are giving a case. Where do they emphasize upon? So there is one case, but there are like 30 different avenues that this um, case could take throughout the, the um, discussion you're having with the interviewers, depending on and where you showed weaknesses and strength before, depending on how you have performed in the other interviews um, in, in previous rounds and what was the feedback there. So it's, it's, the interviews are very flexible. So, um, I mean, while you cannot expect this from your peer, um, still make sure that your peer knows what uh, you want to look out for. And maybe just uh, to, to explain how we have solved it and, 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 and what we are doing, um, first, we are pre-selecting peers, right? So uh, we are making sure only really good candidates um, come into the program. So second, they are all getting the same fundament, meaning we are absolutely making sure our peers have the same training, know exactly what are the criteria they should be evaluated against. And then um, third, having also a clear learning journey defined for them making sure they know where to focus up on and also 
matching the peers manually by um, the characteristics that we have ex uh, experienced as, as, as um, uh, seasoned interviewers, right? So we will tell them with whom they should practice based up on our experience. So there is a full matching algorithm of, algorithm um, behind this, making sure you can thrive systematically. So while this is unfortunately not possible for people outside of the program that we are offering, um, still the, the hints I gave you today should help you to make sure to find adequate people and practice as, as good as it gets in these situations, right? So let's go.